everyone. So I'm going to show you how to upload a PDF file into a Google slideshow. So that way you can make it interactive for your kids. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find whatever PDF file you want to um, upload or any worksheet that you want to upload to um, a Google slide. And you'll just double click on whatever it is in your Google um, Drive and you'll download it to your computer. And then once it downloads to your computer, you're going to make sure you save it as a JPEG file or a PNG file. So you have to make sure that it's saved as one of the JPEGs or PNG files. So once you have it saved to your computer, you're gonna go to an up, um, untitled presentation, so a new Google slide, and you'll go to, in, well, first you want to change the layout to make it more of a worksheet um, instead of a landscape. So to do that, you're going to go to File, Page Setup, and you want to hit the Custom. And I always changed my vertical um, uh, portrait files to be 18 by 24. It just works for me, but it's whatever you wanted to choose. So it's more of a portrait style page. Then you'll go to insert image, upload from your computer because you're uploading it from your computer. And whatever you choose to upload, let me do it again, upload from computer so you can see it. Whatever you choose to upload as your worksheet, you just double click on it and you make your worksheet on your Google slide. Now this does look a little small because there's a lot of wording on it but this is just a way to get any worksheets um, saved as a Google slide. Now, if you wanted to go a step further, because some students sometimes might delete this on accident. So to make them so it can't get deleted, you can actually make this the permanent background. So what you can do is you can go to File, Download, Download as a JPEG, while it's downloading, you're gonna add a new slide. Once it downloads, you're just gonna move the um, picture that you just downloaded onto your slide. It's already the same slide. You can delete the first slide you just did. So now you have your interactive PDF right here. Now you can also make it interactive. Oops, sorry, I made it too big. You can also make it interactive by um, by adding maybe like circles. So this one's all about prepositions. So hold on, let me get off my Zoom. So this one's all about prepositions. So maybe you wanna actually have circles already made for them so they can just go over um, the preposition and drag the preposition over. So to do that, you can just add a shape and just add a circle, make your circles small as small as big or whatever you want. You'd probably want to make it transparent so they can see it. So what to do for that, you'll go to the fill color and just hit transparent. So now they can move the circle over the preposition on here. So I hope that helps. Um, I hope that helps with you creating PDF files um, on your own. Bye for now. Bye.